Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how I got this purple smoky eye with a nude lip. And if you'd like to see how I got this, then please keep watching. To start off, I'm going to be priming my face with the Benefit Professional Primer. And then on top of that, I'm using the Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm. The foundation I'm going to be using today is the Designer Brands Cosmetics Longwear 24 Hour Foundation. I'm just going to take about two and a half pumps of this foundation, then I'm going to spot it all over my face, spray it with Fix Plus, and then blend it all out with a Chi Chi blending sponge. Now I'm taking the Kat Von D Locket Concealer, and I'm just mixing this with a tiny little drop of the Body Shop Lightening Drops, because this concealer is in the lighter shade and it's a little bit too dark for me. And I just mix that with my finger on the back of my hand and put that under my eyes and areas where I've got blemishes or scarring. Now I'm going to set my under eyes with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder and then I'm going to set the rest of my face with my Rimmel Stay Matte Translucent Powder. Now to contour, I'm using my e.l.f. contour palette. I'm just going to contour with the darker shade and then bronze up with the more warm toned shade. And for blush, I'm taking my Makeup Revolution Blushing Hearts in the shade Candy Queen of Hearts. And for highlight, I'm taking a mixture of the Makeup Revolution Blushing Hearts in the shade Peachy Pink Kisses and the Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter in Golden Lights. And then I'm just going to set my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and while the setting spray is still a little bit damp, I'm just going to go over my cheekbone highlight because it makes it really pop if you've got that damp base. And now for the brows, I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Dark Brown for most of the brows. And then I'm going to take my Colourpop Black and Brown brow colour to define the tail a little bit more, just darken it up a little bit. And then I'm just setting my brows with the Essence Make Me Brow Brow Gel in the shade 02 Brownie Brows. And then I'm just going to take the Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter again and I'm just putting this under my brows. Now I'm just priming my eyes with my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer and I'm just setting that with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder again. Today I'm mostly using the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons Palette. So I'm just going to start off with Almond Truffle and Mocha in my crease as my transition shade. And then I'm just going to put the shade Bordeaux in the crease to deepen it up a little more. And now for the smokiness. I'm using the Colourpop shadow in the shade Lace and I'm just packing this all over the center of the lid with my finger. And then I'm just buffing the shades Bordeaux and Black Currant from the Bonbons palette again into the crease to help blend that dark purple out. And then I'm taking the shade Dark Truffle and I'm packing this in the center of the lid just to darken it up a little bit more. And now I'm just sweeping Bordeaux under the lower lash line. 
And then I'm going back in with the shades Dark Truffle and Black Currant under the lash line to smoke it out a little bit more. And then to finish off the lower lash line, I'm just putting that Colourpop shade Lace underneath to really smoke it out. And then I'm just going around the outer edges with the shades Almond Truffle and Divinity, just blending this in to make sure everything is perfectly smooth and there's no harsh edges. And I'm just going to do a wing with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the shade Trooper. I majorly messed up the wing, so I'm just cleaning it up with that Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. Now I'm just applying my Essence Lash Princess Mascara to my top and bottom lashes. And then I'm applying my Cara Lashes in the style number 43. And because I forgot about an inner corner highlight earlier, I'm just applying my Colourpop shadow in the shade Tassel in the inner corner just with my finger. And to finish the look off, I decided to stay with a nude lip to offset the smoky eyes, so I'm just applying my Jeffree Star lipstick in the shade Celebrity Skin. And that completes this look. I'm still getting the hang of smoky eyes, so I think I might do some more to try and build up my confidence with them. So give it a big thumbs up if you did like it, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!